Hey, welcome back. So today we're going to talk a little bit about what's the difference between intentions and results. And this is not quite as simplistic as it seems. So tune in after the show reel. We'll talk a little bit more. Ah, you can't think we'll do much. <laughs> okay, so what is intention? Well, we can consider tension as the energy or the process that is going to bring us somewhere. You can think of intention as something that pushes us towards our purpose or our goal, right? Our intention is something that's our own. It's not something we can take from somebody else. Our intention is how do we want to deliver what it, our goal is and what is our path of getting there? So this can include our values, our morals, our ethics, our desire that sets our intention for something. But the thing is often we set an intention and we don't get any results. What happens in the process? Well, like most people, we get really excited about things, right? We make promises that we actually intend at the moment to keep. Like when we decide that we're gonna go work out or that we're gonna eat, eat healthier, we're usually in a certain energy, a certain way of being. We've got some kind of motivation behind us, some desire, some goal that really drives us to make that intention for ourselves. But then, Maybe something happens and you wake up sluggish or you have to go to a party and eat some sugar or something comes along that shifts the energy that we contain in our own body, in our own mind, or the emotions that were driving us. And the intention isn't there anymore. The intention is different. The intention has changed. So even though we may have quote unquote good intentions, the drive or the power to go along that line to reach our goal then what happens is we get this series of broken agreements with ourselves and we start saying things like, well, I'll try to do that. Or maybe I will, or if I can, I'll get to it if I can. And we start, or we start making excuses. Now think about it this way. If I'm gonna pick up a pencil or a pen or a piece of paper, there's no try, right? You either do it or you don't. It's like whole Yoda's whole thing, right? There is no try, there's only do. You either do something or you don't do it. And we can have our intention to do it. And we can even start self-flagellating ourselves about, oh, how bad we are that we didn't do it. We meant to do it and now you feel guilty. Maybe I let somebody down, maybe I let myself down. And we allow those mind chatters of our unconscious mind and our conscious mind to start actually distracting us even farther from the goal that we were trying to achieve and we get less and less results. So perhaps what you've actually got as a result is actually what your original intention was. Intention without action doesn't bring us anywhere. Saying you're gonna do something is not the same as doing it, as everybody knows, right? But we all get into this pattern every once in a while where we forget to actually get our results. So when things aren't working, when you have good intentions, but you're not seeing the results, first thing to do is look at keeping agreements with yourself. How can you make a different agreement with yourself? Can you break the goal down, the results down into smaller pieces? Do you need to change something, some belief that you have in your unconscious mind? Do you feel more safe not doing something? Right? Sometimes our, our unconscious mind will self-sabotage us because it doesn't see stepping out of our comfort zone as something that's safe. And our unconscious mind at all times, one of its prime directives is to keep us safe. And so if we don't have the force or the support or a coach or enough energy to get us past that and start a new trail, we get stuck. Have you ever gotten stuck before? So imagine now actually being able to get the results that you want, actually changing the way that your unconscious mind works and having the support that you need in order to get through it. So that's some of the work that I do with my clients. And if you wanna know how to get there, check out some of my other videos, do some hypnosis tracks, start shifting the unconscious mind so you know that you can change your results. And remember, no matter what, you're loved, you're loving, you're lovable. Please subscribe and share, and I will see you next time.